Welcome to my house. Today we will be extracting DNA from a strawberry. The materials that you will be needing for this experiment are some strawberries, tweezers, a tablespoon, one of these little guys, and also one of these. We will be needing a bowl, one and a half tablespoon, teaspoon, teaspoon some beakers, dish soap, salt, and one and one half cup of rubbing alcohol. And of course you can't forget your plastic Ziploc bag. For safety, you can find good quality gloves and goggles at your local home. Apron or lab coat so no so so that no spills or splashes get on you. Also, do not drink any of the solutions that we will be needing in this experiment. To start, we will put a one third cup of water in here. Next, we will add a half teaspoon of salt. Now, we are going to add a tablespoon of dish soap. Give it a little stir to make sure it's all mixed together. Once you have your solution made, put your rub rubbing alcohol in the fridge to chill. Now we put our strawberries in our plastic Ziploc bag. And now we want to put three tablespoons of our salt water solution into, into our bag. Now I sealed my bag and press out all the air. Now, we mush our strawberries for two minutes until they're fine foamy paste. Now this is what our bag should look like after mushing the strawberries for two minutes. Now we are going to strain our strawberry pulp into this mixing bowl. Now you are going to use a spoon to push up pulp through the strainer. After we push the pulp through the strainer, it should look like this. To prepare for our next step, we are going to remove the rubbing alcohol from the freezer. Now we are going to take our half cup of rubbing alcohol and pour it into our solution. We are going to gently pour our rubbing alcohol into the mixture. You don't want the alcohol to mix the strawberry. You want it to make a fine layer on top. This will help the DNA separate from your the rest of your strawberry mixture. Now we are going to wait for this foam to go away before we get to our next step. Now what we are waiting for, we are waiting for a cloudy mixture to appear on the top.
Now our mixture is almost ready to extract. Now you want to take your tweezers and extract your DNA from the strawberries. And here is what strawberry DNA looks like. The cloudy mixture on top is the strawberry DNA. Now let's look at this a little closer. DNA or acid and its that encodes cells or genetic instructions used in development, division, and behavior. All known living organisms and even some viruses, DNA is a new that along with proteins and make up three major essential for all known life form of life. Strawberries are octoploid, which means they have eight cells of DNA. Unlike human cells, which are diploid, which only have two DNA cells. We use strawberries in our experiment because of the large amounts of DNA it has in each cell. Turgent molecules have two sides, a head, which is attracted to polar water molecules, and a tail, which hates water, but likes to attach to non-polar mo molecules. Cells are made of phospholipid by a layer with a polar phospho outside in a non-polar lipid interior. This property of cells makes them partially polar and non-polar. The strawberries are squished and the cells are broken apart. Detergent tails attaches to the non the inner non-polar side of the cell membrane and pulls the membrane pieces inside of the water, effectively separating the cell membrane from the DNA inside the cell. This interaction between the soap and cells is much like how detergent will pull dirt and oil out of clothing. After the DNA has separated from the cell membrane, the salt and cut solutions creates a conductive ionic environment, which causes the strawberry DNA to bind and clump together. When we so slowly mix the rubbing alcohol with our state strained strawberry solution, we discovered that, that DNA is not so soluble in rubbing alcohol, which means they will not mix together. Because rubbing alcohol is less dense, then that our strawberry solution, it will layer on top of our strawberries, pulling the DNA away from the squi our squished solution. Allowing the DNA to form cloudy clumps which can be collected with tweezers. Thanks for watching how to collect DNA from a strawberry.